Hey everyone, back again. Welcome back to another video review. This time we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Generations Titans Return Legends Class Laser Beak. As you can see, his Ultra Mode is a phone. Yes. Uh, uh, it, of course, a spy tablet. It's called in the box, but anyway. Um, yeah, primary colors mostly black, silver, a little purple there for the camera piece. Sticker detail with, um, let's see what it says, intercept, re record, spyware, uh, spyware with the Autobot symbol with the circle and a line through it, obviously. Playlist work mix and this has Decepticon symbol right there on the, on the center there. Wi-Fi, battery life which says 84%, and the time which says 11.59pm. So yeah. All in all, tablet mode is pretty cool. Obviously, he's meant to go with leader class sound wave when you get him. It's pretty neat. I'll say that. He's interesting. Um, so, yeah, he does, of course, is a triple changer. He has this mode, <clears throat> he has a tank mode, and, of course, his robot mode. So, we'll go to tank mode in a bit, but I'd like to show up the tablet mode here pretty quick. It's very neat. It's very neat, I'll say that. <clears throat> it's very neat. It's very neat, I'll say that, with the tablet mode. It's pretty cool. Not bad. So yeah, the transformation to tank mode is pretty interesting. First thing I want to do is I uh, want to take take the wing pieces like this. Be careful of the t detail. Take the wing pieces, flip them down, all right? They want to, what you want to do is you want to take, take these little pieces here and rotate them down, basically. Yeah, rotate them down, revealing these little wheel pieces. Well, oh, yeah, flip, come under there, and flip down these wheel pieces, like that. All right, and that can be easier said than done, but no trouble here. That we want to do is want to take these little pieces like so, and you want to rotate. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, sorry, guys. Uh, yeah, a little tricky when it comes to transforming the tank mode. I will say that. So flip the flip the tank barrels like this, um, or whatever it's called. It says vehicle mode on the box. Um, anyway, so we will get the other piece uh, flipped around like so. Then we are to there we go, like that, and then basically just flip flip the pieces. Uh, yeah, flip the pieces back like that, um, and then there you go. There you have. They're laser beacon tank mode. I'll say that. Of course, um, Eject and Rewind have the same similar type of vehicle mode. But anyway, it's nice. It rolls fine. It has re rolling wheels. Um, um, and yeah, it is. Oh, hold on. I think I may have mistransformed him. Nope, I did not mistransform him. That's okay. Um, of course, the tank turrets can go up and down. So yeah. It rolls pretty good. Oh, okay, it rolls a little rough on my surface that I have, but what can you do? So yeah, little nice little tank mode. Um, I'm pretty sure this may be practical because I mean we had Frenzy in the live action movies, but haven't had anyone since him or the the female human Decepticon or the anyway or the the ball bead ones from Revenge of the Fallen. Uh, we never saw him. I don't know. Anyway, so the transformation to robot mode is, well, pretty interesting. Uh, first thing we want to do is want to untab, yeah, untab the little side pieces like so. Lift, flip around, no, lift, yeah, F uh, yeah, Le leave the, leave the robot legs like as it is. Flip, flip back around the, the, the tank pieces. Then what you want to do is you want to flip, flip back the Flip out the wheels, and then you want to rotate, no, no, just, no, no, don't, yeah, rotate it this way so that the, so that the phone details are seen, come under the, the little pieces, flip open the little red wings here like so, flip the little piece like that, and then the last little bit is to come under here, flip around his head in a very dramatic way, flip around his head, and then just get it to situate properly and then get the legs situated like that. Uh, although the legs are a little tricky 
a little loose on mine, but what can you do? And there you go, they have laser beak in robot mode. All in all, he looks pretty interesting, pretty cool, I'll say that. So articulation wise, the wings are posable, they can go up and down, uh, they can rotate. Um, head posability, it, um, it can go, it can do the I like to move it, move it kind of pose. Uh, it can go down, yeah, down at two joints, but it doesn't rotate or whatever. And the legs just go, you know, side to side, and the tail is posable, but that's due to transformation. So that's really all the posability that there is on Laserbeak. Take a look at his head. It's pretty neat. It is pretty neat. It looks like a spy camera, spy camera drone kind of face. It's pretty, pretty neat. It's a pretty neutral kind of face. Of course, the yellow eyes. What can you do? Much like his, his G1 self. So yeah. Um, oh, and I'll show you his bio card real quick. There, oh, there is, <laughs> there is Laserbeak's uh, bio card like that. And then if we turn him around, we go like this. Wee! There you go. Um, and there is his statistics, like that. So yeah, all in all, will I recommend getting Laserbeak? Yes, get him. He is super awesome. Out of out of any, uh, well not any, but of any of the Wave 1 guys, get Laserbeak. He's pretty cool. Of course this is going to be repainted and retooled into Buzzsaw. Although, as I said in my Ravage review, I don't know if Buzzsaw and Stripes are meant to come out first or it's Laserbeak. I think because it, it happened in the US, but where I'm in Canada, I just happened to found Laserbeak and Ravage. So, I, th I think I got pretty lucky when it comes to that. But anyway, get Laserbeak, pretty cool. Details nice, won't be disappointed by him, and I think he's just an excellent addition to your collection. So yeah, that is my video review of the Transformers Generations Combiner War <laughs> Combiner Wars. Transformers Generations Titans Return, sorry. Legends Class Laserbeak. I'll see you all very soon. I will be back as soon as possible with my next video. And yes, take your season and have a good day, and I'll catch you all later. Bye-bye.